respiration is the process by which oxygen is taken up and heat energy and carbon dioxide is released. Now let us try and experimentally find out if carbon dioxide is released during respiration. A air generator supplies air and it is passed through solid soda line. Now soda line absorbs carbon dioxide in the air. Now to test if this air that is coming out of the solid soda line is free of carbon dioxide, this air is bubbled through lime water. Now lime water generally turns milky if there is carbon dioxide in the air. But see, the lime water does not turn milky and hence it is proved that the air is devoid of carbon dioxide but it contains oxygen. We have made the air free of carbon dioxide before passing it to the plant. Why? Because later we will test this air and if carbon dioxide is found, we can be sure that it is given out by the plant and was not present from before. So now this filtered air is passed through this tube into this bell jar that contains a potted plant. Now this potted plant with the help of oxygen respires and carbon dioxide is released. So this air that is passing out through this tube now has carbon dioxide and when this air is bubbled through lime water, see it turns milky. So what have we done? We supplied oxygen rich and carbon dioxide free air to a plant. Because of oxygen, the plant is able to respire. While respiration, the plant gives out carbon dioxide which is confirmed as the lime water turns milky. So let us try and recapitulate the entire experiment. First of all, what did we do? We passed air through solid soda line. Soda line absorbs the carbon dioxide in the air. Now after that, the filtered air we saw that it did not change the color of the lime water to milky, thus proving that the air that passed out of the solid soda line was indeed devoid of carbon dioxide. Next, the filtered air that did not have carbon dioxide but had oxygen was passed through a bell jar that had a potted plant. Now, with the help of the ox oxygen in the air, the plant respired, giving out carbon dioxide. Now, the carbon dioxide given out from the plant does change the color of lime water to milky. So, from this experiment, it is proved that carbon dioxide is formed during respiration. So plants respire to give out carbon dioxide. Now let us perform a simple experiment to see if oxygen is taken up during respiration. For that, let us take two petri plates and let us take a few beans. The beans in petri plate B are heated. So the beans in petri plate B are heat killed while the seeds in petri plate A are living or germinating seeds. Now these beans are kept in a conical flask and water is sprinkled and then soda lime is put. Now the seeds in A will respire but the seeds in petri plate B will not respire because they are heat killed. If oxygen is taken up from the air during respiration, 
then the air pressure in flask A should decrease. For testing this, we connect these two flasks through these pipes to a beaker containing water. Now it is seen that water rises in the pipe connected to A. Since water rises in the pipe connected to A, we can infer that pressure in flask A decreases and thus we can say oxygen is taken up during respiration. Now you may ask that what happens to the carbon dioxide given out during respiration in flask A. It should increase the pressure, but see, we have placed soda lime which absorbs carbon dioxide and does not let the air pressure rise because of release of carbon dioxide. Now let us go over this experiment once again. What did we do? What was the experimental setup? Well, germinating and heat killed seeds were kept in different flasks on wet cotton. Next, the soda lime was kept in the jar and soda lime absorbs carbon dioxide. And what was the observation we made? Yes, we saw that water had risen in the pipe connected to the flask that had germinating seeds. But in the other flask, in the pipe, a little water had risen. Now, what is the reason for this? Let us try and find out the reason for, these, for this water rising effect. Well, the solid soda line absorbs carbon dioxide, thus the air pressure decreases a little in the conical flask. Now in flask A that has germinating seeds, the germinating seeds will respire. That is, it will take up the oxygen in the air. So if it takes up the oxygen in the air, the air pressure will further decrease. Now to make up for this decrease in pressure, the water rises in the pipe in this flask. But in the another flask, because of the presence of soda line, carbon dioxide is absorbed. So there is little re reduction of air pressure in flask B. But since flask B contained heat killed seeds, so they did not respire. So the oxygen in the air was not taken up. So there was no further loss of pressure, so water rose only a little to make up for the absorption of carbon dioxide. But it did not rise much because the oxygen was not taken up. So from here, it is proved that oxygen is taken up during respiration. So till now we saw that during respiration, plants utilize oxygen and finally gives out carbon dioxide. Next, let us see if heat energy is released during respiration. For that, take two conical flasks A and B and put beans. These are heat killed beans and these are germinating beans. Now let's start the experiment. Some water is sprinkled and then a thermometer is put. Since these are germinating seeds, they will respire and see the mercury goes up in this thermometer proving that heat energy is released during respiration. Now see, these beans are heat killed so they don't respire. So there is no increase in temperature as shown in the thermometer. So it is proved that heat is generated during respiration along with carbon dioxide. Now can you tell me why farmers plow their field before sowing seeds? 
Well, they do this to aerate the soil. By aeration, I mean incorporation of oxygen. Now, see, while plowing, oxygen gets incorporated in the soil. Now, when he sows the germinating seeds, the germinating seeds will require oxygen to respire. So, that is how the germinating seeds utilizing oxygen will respire and grow up into a beautiful tall plant.